State senators are running out of time to pass a bill that creates the framework for a voter ID law. If they can't approve something during this legislative session, which only has 10 working days left, they will more than likely have to come back for a special session in order to have something they can implement for next year's election. The holdup right now comes from a dispute within the Republican majority on how strict to make the law, especially for people who cast their vote by mail. 1011 Now's John Grinvald is unraveling all of this for us as he spent the day speaking with senators. He's live tonight with what he's hearing. John? Kelsey Cole, last fall, Nebraskans overwhelmingly supported a ballot measure requiring photo identification to vote. But the rules have to be shaped by lawmakers. And they're so far from agreement at this point that the crafter of the original bill is now ready to prevent that bill from being passed. It's another fault line in a legislative session full of controversy, a voter ID framework, and there are high stakes at play. If the legislature doesn't come through with voter ID in this session, then we're going to have a lot of trouble implementing voter ID in 2024. State Senator Julie Salama introduced LB 535 aimed to be that framework, but she says she's dissatisfied with Amendment 1748 now attached to it introduced by State Senator Tom Brewer. It's my bill and I intend to kill my bill if this amendment is added to the bill. It's a fraud friendly, unconstitutional abomination of an amendment. Amendment 1748 would allow people to write down their ID numbers on requests for ballots by mail. Slama says that's not enough to secure elections. She says her proposed amendment would require citizenship verification and require extra steps of identification for those voting by mail. This week, the Government and Military Affairs Committee, chaired by Brewer, approved Brewer's amendment and not hers. It's doing what the people ask us. Voter ID. It's very narrow. And, and there's some that thought it should be bigger. It should be about election reform. It's not. It's, it's about voter ID. And that's where we, we have it. Slama is also calling out what she claims to be executive branch overreach in that committee. They worked with Secretary of State Bob Evnen's office while honing the language of the bill. And Slama says that led to Evnen's office, quote, hijacking the process alongside those who oppose voter ID. Evnen says he and his staff only participated when invited. We were asked to provide input. We provided the input that we were asked to provide. That's what we've done. There's also the issue of money. Evnen's office estimated Slama's proposal would cost more than $23 million, mainly to buy machinery to produce state ID cards, while Brewers would cost just under $2 million. Earlier today, I spoke with the Speaker of the Legislature's office on when this bill might reach the unicameral floor with Brewers' amendment attached to it. They're unsure on the exact date, but Brewer says he expects it to be by this upcoming Monday or Tuesday. Otherwise, he says they might not have enough time to get it through the required three rounds of voting. Reporting live in the newsroom, John Grinvalds, 1011 Now. It could come down to the wire. John, thanks for that report.